This is a special report from ABC News Digital. Hello, everyone. I'm Dan Kleffler in New York with this ABC News Digital Special Report. After months of speculation, Major League Baseball has kept us speculating. We're joined from outside Yankee Stadium in the Bronx now by ABC's Devin Dwyer, where everyone is waiting to see if the big headline from today, Alex Rodriguez, if he will play tonight. Devin. Hey, Dan, that's right. All eyes are on Rodriguez. He's actually arrived in Chicago. He's promising to rejoin his team tonight. He hasn't been on the field since last October, so this is quite the uh, quite the collision of two big stories here, his return from rehab and also these looming allegations. We're hearing that Major League Baseball is supposed to kind of drop the hammer on these players, around a dozen players, sometime this afternoon. The, among the strongest to be hit is Alex Rodriguez, the Yankees' third baseman. We're hearing uh, from sources telling our sister network ESPN and that he could face uh, a penalty of up to 200 games uh, on the sidelines. That would put him out through uh, the rest of the 2014 season, Dan. So, and the question is that, Devin, is that obviously there have been suspensions before for performance-enhancing drugs. So why something now? What's the timing? Well, the, the, the allegations here uh, around this clinic in Florida, all of this this particular case centers on uh, the so-called Biogenesis Clinic, a story that broke in January in a Florida newspaper. Major League Baseball has been investigating this since then. Uh, pressure has been building on, on the league to make a decision some point very soon to show that they mean business with these players. So there's a lot of pressure. But also this is all coming at kind of a... a critical uh, juncture here in the season about 50 games left in the regular season why is that important well so many of these players uh, on this uh, list that are kind of facing suspensions here are believed to be first time offenders that means they'd face a 50 game suspension so in theory dan if these players accept suspensions that are coming begin serving them today many of these stars could in theory be back in time for playoffs later this fall. Let's talk about something else that I know oftentimes gets overlooked in the sports world, but it is the financial implications of something like this. And what kind of money are we looking at? Right. Big money here, Dan. I mean, obviously, Alex Rodriguez, the highest paid player in Major League Baseball, still has about $100 million left on his contract through 2017. So if he uh, gets a suspension, as has been reported, about 200 games, putting him out through 2014, that would mean he would lose, stands to lose, $30 million uh, out of his paycheck. Again, $60 million still waiting for him uh, thereabouts if he were to return after the suspension. But the flip side of the coin is that this is big savings for the Yankees. We heard from Rodriguez over the weekend suggest that perhaps there's a conspiracy at play here, that the Yankees want to see him sidelined to kind of recoup some of that money. But huge money all around. Again, the biggest uh, ba paid uh, player in the league. And obviously he has vowed that he would fight this, whatever the decision might be. He said, though, if he is suspended, that he would appeal that decision. So how long would a process like that take? That's right. Well, if he, uh, again, gets slapped with that penalty today and were to uh, mount an appeal, the appeal we're hearing from, from the league could take about a month. Uh, Rodriguez would meet, would send his case rather to an independent arbitrator that is agreed upon by both the players' union and the league. That arbitrator would look at all the evidence that the, that the league has amassed against Rodriguez and also hear from Rodriguez himself. If the penalty were upheld, at that point, Rodriguez would begin serving it. There's a chance that the arbitrator could throw out the penalty, in which case he could continue playing as if nothing ever happened then. All right. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Outside of Yankee Stadium, ABC's Devin Dwyer. Devin, thank you for that. I want to go now to ESPN's Jeremy Schapp, uh, who's been following this. And, and Jeremy, obviously, you know, this is something that a lot of people are watching so very closely. There's a list of players that we know Major League Baseball playing suspensions. What kind of negotiations are happening then right now? Well, right now, um, the big thing, uh, obviously, is whether or not Alex Rodriguez is willing to negotiate. Um, over the last few days, uh, it seems that the answer has been no. Major League Baseball was angered, in particular, on Friday night after Rodriguez at a press conference in New Jersey he was playing for the uh, Trenton affiliate of the Yankees, had a press conference, and he suggested that the Yankees and Major League Baseball were conspiring to cancel his contract. Up until that point, uh, there had been negotiations going on, we understand, and uh, Bud Selig, the commissioner, was so angered about that that he uh, shut it down. Uh, we understand that 
Rodriguez's representatives, the Major League Baseball Players Association, they wanted to continue to negotiate some kind of a uh, an agreement, uh, assuming <clears throat> we would assume that would entail Rodriguez taking uh, a shorter suspension in return for agreeing not to appeal. But uh, when he made those comments, uh, Selig said, no more negotiating. In terms of the other players, uh, we understand that it's just a question now of uh, dotting the I's and crossing the T's. Uh, most of them, as you just heard, will probably get 50-game suspensions for first offenses. Uh, really, Rodriguez has been the sticking point here. If, if he does make an appeal, then that makes him eligible to play tonight. I mean, what are the chances that the Yankees are going to put him in the lineup? Well, the Yankees will definitely put him in the lineup. Uh, they're not going to call him up to the team to have him sit on the bench uh, and create all these distractions. Uh, you know, they need him. Uh, they, they've they had their worst offensive year in a couple of decades. Uh, Derek Jeter has been back twice. Now he's out again. Uh, the, Alex Rodriguez, uh, assuming that the commissioner does not invoke um, his powers under the best interest of the game, which would immediately force Rodriguez from the field, um, and, and he would not play during a suspension. Uh, if he's in Chicago, and he is in Chicago, he's going to be playing unless he is actually forced from the field by Major League Baseball. So I, I want to ask you about, there seems to be a bit of a swing in the players' union, the, the larger position on this issue. The majority of them saying that their people are clean. They seem to say, and that's who they're going to be looking out for. Uh, was biogenesis the tipping point, essentially? Well, I, I think this was an evolution. Um, you know, ten years ago, when testing was first initiated in 2003, and then linked to actual players' names in 2004, uh, it was a very different culture in baseball. Uh, perhaps the steroid era uh, had just peaked. There was certainly a much higher percentage of players using steroids, and the attitude of the players' union and most of the rank and file was, leave us alone, uh, this is none of your business. Uh, over the course of the last decade, that thinking has changed profoundly. Uh, n now that we think uh, the vast majority of players are clean, um, although there's certainly plenty out there who are still cheating, um, you know, the majority uh, wants to see a level playing field. And, and crucially, the Players Association, which has new leadership, has decided that it's more important to protect the players who are clean from unfair competition against players who are cheating. Uh, whereas in the past, it had been perceived as a privacy issue. Uh, it had been a circle the wagons type of attitude. Uh, that, that's, that's completely changed, and, and you see a lot of players, the majority of players, saying, they want those who use performance-enhancing drugs, contrary to the rules of the game, to be punished to the full extent of the commissioner's powers. Yeah, certainly going to be a standoff right there. ESPN's Jeremy Schaap. Jeremy, thank you for that. I want to go out to Chicago now, where, of course, A-Rod is grabbing all the headlines in the Windy City today. The Yankees getting set to play the White Sox tonight, and WABC's Josh Oniger is live in downtown Chicago. Josh, what is the mood for baseball right now? Because everyone is waiting to see if A-Rod's going to show up. Well, everyone, well, the, the belief is, Dan, that A-Rod has flown to Chicago, is here, is expected to take the field tonight uh, here in Chicago. Uh, of course, Chicago is not a town much like other big sports towns like Boston or Philly where a New York fan would necessarily be well advised to show his or her face. But here in front of the hotel where the Yankees are believed to be staying, we did find one family from the New York City suburban county of Westchester, just north of New York City. They're on a tour of ballparks. Uh, three kids, they're ranging in age from 11 to 6. And they had some interesting things to say about, about A-Rod and what types of punishments they think he should have. The six-year-old said he thinks A-Rod should just apologize and then get back to the field because the Yankees need a third baseman. Clearly he's going to have more uh, of a stringent penalty than that. The question, of course, what will it be? And will he, he be in the odd situation of ending up playing tonight after he's been suspended, but while he's been uh, already appealing the suspension? So a very odd night of baseball shaping up here in Chicago, and we'll be following it all day. Dan? Yeah, absolutely. I can certainly imagine that as well. And of course, you know, as you said, Chicago, obviously everyone's loving baseball this time of the year, and 
it's, it's interesting to see that, you know, so much of the attention being pushed away from the White Sox and really, really more focused on this uh, announcement that we're expected from, uh, from the Major League Baseball this afternoon. From inside, because I, I know that you just got there, Josh, and, and kind of like, you know, Absolutely. feeling your way around a little bit, but I mean, anyone else talking about this? I mean, I know you said you ran into the family from New York, but I mean, like, people on the street, are they talking about it? Or, or is it just kind of, is this, is this sort of like, you know what, no, the game's going to go on tonight? Well, the game's going to go on tonight. People are definitely talking about it. And A-Rod, of course, has, as you say, sort of sucked the air out of the whole sports world over the last couple of weeks. And here in Chicago, I mean, everybody knows there's media lined up here in front of the hotel where the Yankees are believed to be staying. People walking by asking if we've seen A-Rod. That, of course, is uh, top of mind here. I will say that even the most diehard Yankee fans uh, are extraordinarily disappointed in him. He makes so much money. And and really had quite a responsibility to them, to their kids, to be a role model. I was in Trenton on Friday when he uh, played that uh, minor league game when he came out of his for his rehab assignment at the Trenton Thunder. And it was really uh, astonishing how many people showed up in Trenton, how many diehard Yankee fans, just to boo A-Rod. They are angry with him. So the question tonight is when we move into this game time tonight, the Yankee fans who do show their faces here in Chicago, uh, what will they? Uh, what will they be doing? Will they be booing their, their A Rod, or will they be cheering on their team? There are some Yankee fans right here. Uh, hey guys, you want to come over and talk real quick? Yeah, come on over. Some Yankee fans just walked up to me. Hey, what's your name? Hayden. Hayden, and what's your name? Max. Where are you guys from? Um, I'm from Indiana. You're from Indiana. Kentucky. And you're from Kentucky. So you're not New Yorkers, but you're Yankees fans. Are you, Dad? Yeah. Okay. So what? What do you guys?